Hi, welcome back to Welltech QC, the YouTube channel of Lloyd's Institute of Technologies, and I am Vincent. Today we are going to discuss about submerged arc welding, or commonly known as SAW, SAW SAW. Submerged arc welding is one of the most efficient welding processes, which gives a deposition rate of 4 to 10 times than the SMAW, that is shielded metal arc welding or manual metal arc welding or stick welding, almost 4 to 10 times higher deposition rates, that's very high. Submerged arc welding is often known as SAW, that is SAW, is a short form of submerged arc welding. So is an arc welding process that uses a continuously fed electrode, electrode wire you can say, for the filler material and a granular fusible flux, shield the arc and protect the weld zone. It looks like, you know, some kind of sand, okay, the, the SW flux, the saw flux looks like uh, something like uh, sand and it is, the arc is submerged into that that is you you won't be able to see the arc when the welding is on that's why it is called as submerged it is submerged within the flux the arc is submerged within the flux SAW was developed to overcome the inefficiencies and limitations found in SMAW. So it's much more efficient than the SMAW because there is no step loss and also the arc is buried so that the operator comfort is ideal in so. So is always done with a shielding flux. The so process is either semi-automatic or fully automatic. The semi-automatic refers to the so gun being handheld and moved down the weld joint by an operator. Whereas full automatic refers to the so machine and torch assemblies being fixed and the job moving or the machine moving on a track and the job is stationary. Okay, either the job is stationary or the machine is stationary and uh, job is moving. The operator just starts and stops the movement, that's all. After setting up the, uh, the parameters, the operator's job is just to start and stop the movement of the machine or the job. Now let us see the applications of submerged arc welding process. Wherever high deposition and high travel speed rates are required, SAW is the ideal welding process. For example, Pre-engineered building structures, vessels with high wall thicknesses, ship building, heavy fabricated structures like crane girders and so on. In general, larger wire diameter electrodes are used as compared to all other arc welding processes. Like for semi-automatic welding, you can uh, do it from 2 mm to 4, 4 mm wire. You can use the 4 mm wire also. Submerged arc welding provides a variety of applications in order to multiply the productivity, like single and multiple electrode wire applications. Single electrode submerged arc welding is the most widely used type of all SAW. Tin arc and tandem arc welding are the other types of SAW. So, now let us see the advantages of the 
సబ్మెర్ ఆర్కు వెళ్ళి ది మెయిన్ అడ్వాంటేజ్ ఇస్ ఇట్ ప్రొవైడ్స్ ఎ వెరీ గుడ్ క్వాలిటీ వెల్స్ విత్ హై డెపోజిషన్ can be done on a variety of metals and alloys the next advantage is high operating factor means the amount of arc on time then comes high penetration low hydrogen quality of wells fast travel speed and of course the operator comfort because the arc is submerged within the flux so there is no problem for the glare to the eyes or all the that sort of problems are averted so these are the main advantages let us see the limitations the major limitations is of course the portability is a big issue because uh, you have got the sw flux uh, to be carried and uh, Uh, the positions you can weld using the saw that some is dark welding is uh, limited to uh, flat and horizontal position only horizontal fillet and flat uh, position only uh, no auto position weld because uh, overhead or uh, vertical uh, is uh, almost uh, impossible because of the flux gravity uh, will not allow you then of course uh, submerged arc welding since the penetration is very high tight fit up is required no gap there should not be any gap to get a, a proper welding high quality welding otherwise bend through is the possibility and uh, next limitation could be storage and portability of the flux and uh, after welding there will be slack to be removed so these are the major limitations what you have discussed that's all for the time being goodbye thanks for watching see you in the next